Before Anne and I came to Ludhiana, we came directly from Korea, where we were missionaries for 10 years. And in Korea, all administrative uh, governing bodies, all executive positions in Christian institutions had been taken over by, by Korean people. Missionaries were simply colleagues and the Koreans were glad to have us there, but we all been recognized that Korea was a modern country and directors and leaders should be Korean. And when, I went, when we went to Ludhiana, we were amazed that, that all, all the uh, administrative positions there and heads of government, uh, heads of, of departments, uh, all were held by expatriates. And we felt that this, this is an anomaly in this day and age. And that was when we began looking around to see who among our Indian colleagues should, should be encouraged to take over leadership positions. And this, to my mind, was especially uh, fortunate because it was during our terms in India that missionaries were denied visas. Anyone coming from abroad to be a missionary was automatically denied a visa. And that, for the last five years that we were there, that included even missionaries from the Commonwealth countries who up to them could come and go at least like any other Commonwealth person. Hmm. Well, he was a man that I felt, there is my successor as a director. I felt embarrassed that all the directors at Ludiana up to that point had been Western people. And uh, here was a Indian institution where, where people begin to do their own thing. And uh, eventually, when I left the institution after 11 years as director, Nambudrapad became the first Indian director of the whole institution, and I was so happy. The Lord had done it all.